Computer Games and Electric Football presents Playbook Illustrated with your host, Coach Kenshin. All right, coaches, let's get started. Hello, coaches. I'm Kit Kenshin. I want to show you how to play electric football according to Tudor Games rules. Tudor Games has been making electric football games since 1947. That's a long time ago. But the rules have not changed much in all that time. So I will give you the meaning of some things. These are called definitions. Show you how to play according to Tudor Games rules. Show you some things you should not do. These are called penalties. And provide you a few sample plays. When you're finished watching, you'll be ready to be a coach. Ready? Let's begin. Definitions The offense is the team with the ball at the start of a play. The goal of the offense is to move the ball into the opponent's end zone for a touchdown. The 11 players on the offense are a center, two guards, two tackles, and two wide receivers. These seven guys are the offensive linemen. They protect the players with the ball, but the wide receivers can also go out and catch passes. The others cannot. These seven players must be on the line. The backs are the guys behind the line. They run, throw, and catch the ball to try to score. You have a quarterback. They are always behind the center. And two running backs are behind the quarterback and behind the line. A slot receiver is a player kind of like a back and kind of like a receiver. It depends on really where you put him. If he's here, he's a receiver. If he's here, he's a back. If he's here, he's a lineman. So know what you want to do and where to put him. There's also a special player, the triple threat quarterback, or TTQB. He can run, throw, and kick the ball. We call it many names. When on the field, we call him player. When we pass, we call him passer. When we kick, we call him kicker or punter. The offense is now ready. On to the defense. The defense is the team without the ball. The defense's team goal is to keep the offense from moving the ball into their end zone. The 11 players on the defense are the defensive linemen, which are made up of defensive tackles and two defensive ends. They try to clog up the middle and prevent runners from getting to the outside. The linebackers are behind the linemen. Sometimes you can have two, three, or four. They support the line, but can also protect against passes. The defensive backs, sometimes called the secondary, are the widest and deepest players. They consist of two cornerbacks and two safeties. They try to prevent and cover the receivers from getting open and tackle runners that get downfield after the catch. A kickoff is a place kick made from the kicking team's 35-yard line to start each half or after a score. The kicking team is the defensive team. A first down is the first of the offensive team four tries to gain 10 yards. Place the down marker and the 10 yard marker on the yard line of your first down with the end of the marker 10 yards toward the defensive end zone. After each down, 
move the ball marker to the yard line of the next play. If 10 yards are gained, the team earns a first down and a new set of downs begin. On fourth down, it is typically wise for the offense to either punt or kick a field goal unless the yardage needed is short. If the offense did not make its 10 yards in four downs, they give the ball to the other team at that spot. A punt is kicking the ball to the opponent instead of running a play. If the offense did not make its 10 yards in three downs, they usually punt the ball away or kick for a field goal on fourth down. A tackle is bringing down the ball carrier. The ball carrier is considered tackled when the opposing player cleats or player platform touches any part of the ball carrier's cleats or player platform. The ball is downed at the front of the ball carrier's cleats. If the ball carrier turns around and starts running toward his own goal, play stops and the ball is marked at the furthest yardage gain, which is the furthest forward progress by the ball carrier. A pivot is rotating a player within its original resting footprint and or adjusting its speed cleats without lifting him from the field. A pivot is a type of offensive audible and defensive shift. A motion is moving a player from his original resting footprint to another place on the playing field. When motioning a player, you may also adjust his cleats, but you cannot change another set of cleats. A motion is also a type of offensive audible and defensive shift. A fumble is loss of possession by the ball carrier. Fumbles happen when the back of the ball carrier's cleats are touched by the front of the defender's cleats or when the defender knocks over the ball carrier. The game is turned off and the following happens. A coin is flipped to determine possession. Heads, offense retains. Tails, defense recovers. If the defense recovers, they may attempt to advance the ball. The defender may be pivoted to advance the ball and all offensive and defensive players who cleats are not touching an opponent's cleats may be pivoted as well to either attempt to block or tackle. A knocked over ball carrier cannot be touched or repositioned in any way to make a tackle. If both the ball carrier and the defender are knocked over, then the ball cannot be advanced if the defense recovers. If the offense recovers, play stops and the ball is placed at that yard line for a new down. Out of bounds is any portion of the ball carrier's cleat that touches the sideline or breaks the plane of the sideline, causing the play to stop. Play resumes on next down on yard line where the front of the ball carrier's cleat went out of bounds. A touchdown is awarded six points when any part of the ball carrier's cleat breaks the plane of the opponent's goal line or across the opponent's goal line. When a pass is completed to a player in the opponent's end zone or when a fumble is recovered in an opponent's end zone. A safety is when the ball carrier is tackled behind his own goal line or when a player recovers a fumble made by himself or a teammate behind his own goal line. The defensive team is awarded two points and also receives the ball on a free kick which is made from the opponent's 20 yard line. A touchback is when a kick ball lands on the field of play and travels through the back of the end zone. Or if the receiving team chooses not to run a kick ball out of the end zone. The ball is spotted on the 20 yard line of the offensive team. Now you're ready to play electric football. 
The next section will cover the game from start to finish. Toss a coin to decide which team receives the ball first. The winner may choose to receive, become the offense, or kick off, play defense. How to play The felt of rubber football is typically used for passing and for kicking. For all other plays, the offensive and defensive coach are both aware of which action figure is the ball carrier. A game consists of four quarters, two quarters per half. Coaches agree before the start of the game on a certain number of plays to be run in each quarter or half. The number of plays allowed per quarter may be as few as eight or as many as 15. This allows each team to have at least one possession of the ball per quarter and gives each team an equal opportunity to score during that period of play. After each quarter, the two teams switch sides of the field. The second half begins with a kickoff to the team that lost the coin toss unless the winner of the coin toss choose to kick off in the first half. If the score is tied at the end of four quarters, play an extra quarter. The first team to score in overtime wins. The scoring sheet format here can be used to track the score and number of plays per quarter. Photocopy the last page of the Tudor Rules booklet for additional score sheets. The kicker is placed on the kickoff mark. 35 yard line at center with the ball placed on its kicking team. The receiving team is at least 10 yards downfield. The ball is then kicked toward the opponent's goal line. If the ball lands on the board and is not a touchback, the ball is considered live and it must be recovered or touched to gain possession. Players are pivoted toward the ball by both teams to gain possession. Once the teams declare that they are both ready, the power switch is turned on by the receiving team at any speed they like for a count of three. Then the switch is released. If any player touches the ball during the three count, they gain possession and the game is immediately switched off. If the kicking team gains possession, the play is dead at the spot of possession. If the receiving team gains possession, the player who touched the football is now the ball carrier and may be pivoted to advance the ball. Both teams may pivot any of their players whose cleats are not touched by an opponent's cleats to attempt to either block or tackle. Power is switched on until the return player is tackled, runs out of bounds, or turns around or scores a touchdown. If the ball is kicked out of the back of the end zone, the receiving team may call a touchback and take the ball at the 20 yard line or the receiving team may return the kick from the end zone. If the kick ball travels off the playing field without striking any part of the field, then the receiving team is awarded the ball at their own 35 yard line. The line of scrimmage where the ball is placed is determined by the front part of the ball carrier's cleats at the end of the previous play. In setting up your teams for a play, use the following sequence. Offense set their players, declare set. Set. Defense set their players, declare set. Set. Offense makes any audible calls. Defense may then shift, but only if the offense calls an audible. Offense declares run or pass play. If a run play, then the offense must declare the number of the ball carrier. If a pass play is called, then the quarterback has the ball. Offense presses the power on the switch, also controlling the speed. Switch is released for a pass, pitch out, scramble, 
or end of the play. After both the offense and defense declares set, the offense has the option to call an audible. An audible allows up to any two offensive players to be pivoted or motioned to another location. Linemen cannot be motioned. Motion. Only two players per play may Motion. be audible. If the offense audibles, then the defense may react by making a shift. A shift allows for any defensive players to be pivoted or motioned. The number of defensive players able to be shifted is equal to the number of offensive players audible. For example, if the offense pivots one wide receiver, then the defense may motion one player. If a run play is called by the offensive coach, the ball carrier is declared and the play is run until the ball carrier is tackled, run out of bounds, fumbles, turns around, or scores a touchdown. Only ball carriers in the backfield may run with the ball. The backfield is defined as the area between the offensive tackles. On any run play where the quarterback is the ball carrier, the offense may run with the quarterback or may call a pitch out. Here's how it works. The offensive coach must release the power switch before a defender tackles the quarterback to stop the play and call pitch out. Then the coach must declare the number of the player who will take the pitch. The quarterback can pitch to any player who is behind or lateral to him and within 10 yards. This player becomes the new ball carrier. No player adjustments can be made on a pitch out. Passing is a skill that takes practice to master, but the thrill of completing passes is well worth the effort. Here's what happens on a passing play. When you set up your team, make sure that your quarterback figure has cleats that will make him drop back roll out, or stay in the pocket. Be careful that your quarterback doesn't fade back beyond 20 yards of the line of scrimmage. If he does, he's considered sacked and the ball is moved to that yard line. Start the play by turning on the switch and watch to see if an eligible receiver breaks open. If he does, and before a defender touches your quarterback, release the power button to stop the play and call pass. To pass, replace your quarterback with the passer, place the ball on the passing hand, and fire away at an eligible receiver. Beginners get three attempts, while advanced players get just one attempt to hit the receiver. The passer can be pivoted, tilted, or angled, but cannot be moved from the original quarterback location. Eligible receivers are all offensive players except the five interior linemen, the center, guard, and offensive tackles. Once the ball is thrown, one of the following results will be if the ball hits a receiver or his cleats without hitting the field or a defender first, the pass is completed. Beginners may allow the ball to hit the field first, then the player, and still be complete. But following the completion, the offensive coach may pivot the receiver. The defense is allowed to pivot any unblocked players toward the receiver. Then the offensive coach presses the power switch until the receiver is tackled turns around, runs out of bounds, fumbles, or scores. The offense can change the speed at any time during the play. If the ball does not hit an eligible receiver, the pass is incomplete. Resume the play at the line of scrimmage next down. If the ball hits a defensive player first instead of the intended receiver, the ball is intercepted. The defender may be pivoted to advance the ball and all offensive and defensive players whose cleats are not touching an opponent's cleats 
may also be pivoted to attempt to either block or tackle. The defensive coach is then handed the switch and presses the power button and adjusts speed until that player that intercepted is tackled, turns around, runs out of bound, fumbles, or scores. If the ball hits an ineligible receiver, that's a penalty. On any pass play, the quarterback may change to a run, scramble, before reaching the line of scrimmage. In order for the quarterback to scramble on a call pass play without penalty, the offensive coach must stop the game and declare a run, scramble. The defensive coach may then pivot any unblocked defender to chase down the quarterback and make the tackle. The game is turned back on and play resumes until the quarterback is tackled, runs out of bounds, turns around, fumbles, or scores a touchdown. Defensive backs, the two outermost players lined up outside the tackles, are not allowed to hold receivers at the line of scrimmage. Defensive backs may run backward, side by side, be angled to push the receiver, or have their cleats set to turn in a small circle to cover an area of the field in a zone coverage. It is usually wise to punt on fourth down unless you are close to your opponent's goal line or within field goal range. To punt, set up your team with the punter 15 yards behind the center. The return team should place at least one player 50 yards behind the line of scrimmage to receive the punt. When both teams have called set, switch on the power for two seconds allowing the return team a chance to block the kick by tackling the punter. Then release the power switch to stop play. If the punter is not tackled, place the ball on the kicking tee and kick it. Rules for returning a punt are the same as returning a kickoff except that the ball is not live, cannot be recovered by the kicking team, and it can only be down. If the punted ball travels off the playing field without first striking any part of the field, then the receiving team is awarded the ball 20 yards past the spot of the kick. You must be within 50 yards of the opponent's goal line to attempt a field goal. To kick a field goal, set up the player similar to a punt with the kicker 15 yards behind the center figure. The defense lines up and tries to block the kick by tackling the kicker. When both teams are set, the offensive coach switches on the power for two seconds, then releases the power switch to stop play. If the kicker is not tackled, place the ball on the tee and kick the field goal. Beginners get three attempts, while advanced players get just one attempt to kick the ball through the goal post. If it's good, three points. And if it's no good, the defensive team has the ball at the same yard line or the defense's 20 yard line. After your team scores a touchdown, you can run a play from the two yard line to attempt to score two points or kick a point after for one point at the 15 yard line. Rules for the setup of a point after are similar to a field goal. That is, the defense gets two seconds to rush. If the defense returns the ball for a touchdown during the conversion, the defense scores two points. The scoring points are a touchdown, six points, field goal, three points, safety, two points, Conversion by run or pass, two points, and a conversion by kick is one point. Penalties 
offsides occurs when a team lines up one or more of their players across the line of scrimmage. Opposing team can either accept the offsides penalty for five yards or decline it and keep any gain made on the play. If the penalty is accepted, the five yards are marked off, but the down remains the same. An ineligible receiver penalty occurs when a pass hits an ineligible receiver, that being the offensive guard, tackle, and center, on the fly. The offensive team is penalized five yards and the loss of a down. Defensive holding occurs when the defender's arm hooks the receiver's arm and prevents him from going upfield by spinning together in circles. The defensive team is penalized five yards, and it's an automatic first down. An illegal forward pass occurs when a quarterback crosses the line of scrimmage on a called pass play. The offensive team is penalized five yards and the loss of a down. Sample plays. Here's a run from the snap. Set. Run. Here's an option run. Set. Run. Here's an option pitch. Set. Run. Pitch. Here's a pass from snap. Set. Pass. Pass. Here's a pass to run or scramble. Set. Pass. Scramble. Here's the base defense. Set. If you now know what everything means, and you know how to play, and you know what not to do, and you know what some of the plays look like, then you're ready to be a coach. If not, look at it again to make sure. And one more thing you need to know. Playbook Illustrated is brought to you by Tudor Games and the Friends of the Miniature Football Coaches Association. Meet one of them at www.electricfootball.com. All right, coaches, that's a wrap.